All right, what is up, y'all? This is Runter, and welcome back to another installment of cringy, ignorant bullshit we find on the internet. Uh, the source for today's topic is, of course, coming from Twitter. Go figure, the Funny Bird app always has plenty of ignorance to talk about. Today, we're going to be talking about another one of these cringy IRL streamers. This time around, it's going to be focused on Neon and his new girlfriend. So I guess they've been recording a lot together, and they were recently at the zoo, where they got into this altercation with some of the employees at the zoo, just having a major meltdown, making themselves look like assholes. And I, I don't know what it is with, with IRL streamers just making themselves look completely fucking stupid, but that's the subject of today's video. Let's go ahead and roll the clip, and then we'll get to clowning. Thing. This the, is for a school project, as we told him, we're leaving. We are good to record, I checked, I made sure, we can record, man. I read all the guidelines, I'm 100% sure that we can record here. The police, I'm so scared. Do you I want me to read it go. verbatim for no, you? you I got it. you. I, I can read it good. word for re word. Yep. Live streaming and videotaping is accepted for personal use. This is for personal use, thank you. Dumb bitch. See you the in jail, fuck? man. Literally so stupid. I'm going to jail? I'm going to jail? Oh my, I'm going to jail? Oh, he doesn't want to. Good guy. I'm gonna leave though. Have a great day. Call PD? Oh, I'm leaving. Sorry. You're gonna have to catch me. High speed chase. Should have like 100,000 views while I'm doing it. It'll be very good. Oh, cameras. What's going on, motherfucker? We got this fish. Let's go. Weird ass fucking tree. Let's go. Okay. Fucking weird ass bitch, bro. Takes her life too serious. Get bro, like you work room. at a zoo and you get paid minimum wage. Why are you so mad? Ah yes, what quality content. I, I just don't understand who's watching shit like this. It's obviously little kids, because if you're a grown-ass man genuinely enjoying this shit, you need some help, first and foremost. But let's go ahead and break this down. So first and foremost, the lack of self-awareness here is crazy. Like, dude really thinks he's just so funny. Oh my god, I'm going to jail. Like, bro is so corny. Like, all you're doing is fucking with people that are trying to make a check and dip. Like, these motherfuckers do not care about your video, they don't care about your stream, they don't care about you trying to be obnoxious for clicks, they don't give a fuck, man. They just want to get their paycheck and they want to go home and support their families. It's that simple. If I had to take a guess, I know there's not a lot of context with this clip, I tried to look for some, couldn't find it, but if I, if I had to take a shot in the dark here, I would assume they were probably causing some sort of scene just being super obnoxious. I mean, you can kind of already tell that even by the clip I did provide. But I'm sure they were being obnoxious and shit, trying to get some sort of reaction out of them. And they probably just didn't want to be videotaped, right? Like, how hard is it to just respect people's wishes? The zoo does not belong to you. It's a public place and it has rules set in place, right? If those people didn't want you videotaping there, that should have been the end of the goddamn discussion. Like, I don't understand why you're gonna sit there and try and argue, knowing damn well they're not just gonna change their mind. You're not gonna just yell at these people, shit talk them, be an asshole, and them just say, oh, gee whiz, you know what? On second thought, I never thought of it like that. Like, no, like, just that, you should have just walked away at that point. Because realistically, I know the staff isn't opposed to them recording at the zoo. I mean, thinking about it logically, they don't care because the zoo, people take photos and videos there all the time. You know, parents taking their kids to the zoo, you know, people going on vacation, you know, photos and videos are always taken at a zoo. It's a public place, right? It happens all the time. But I think it becomes an issue when you're harassing people who frankly, might I add, just don't get paid enough for your bullshit by recording them without consent, being obnoxious as possible. And in my opinion, man, like it would be totally different if they didn't conduct themselves the way they did, right? Because I know a lot of people are supporting them and thinking that these employees overreacted, blah, blah, blah. I think if they had just kind of like went up to them in a less obnoxious, a less threatening way, you know, maybe just kind of explain the situation a little bit instead of having a full-blown meltdown, I feel like it could have been different, and in that case, I would have honestly sided with them, but because they conducted themselves like assholes, in my opinion, that argument goes out the window. Another thing I'd like to talk about is how these people's egos are just massive, right? Like, I can't get over the fact that this motherfucker that's out here looking like Kevin the Sea Cucumber from Spongebob and his obnoxious side bitch that probably, might I add, contributes nothing to his success are acting this way. They're, they're acting like they're the most important people at this goddamn zoo 
or really on the planet for that matter. And they really thought they were cooking up by being cringy assholes. You know, all oh, the viewers are really going to love this when in reality we're all just laughing at you. I mean, dude who got his ass beat by a little kid very, very recently thought he was such a badass, you know, flexing his 100,000 views and his 12 to 16 year old audience and his high speed chase that no way in hell is happening. And I love how they get mad and they say that, oh, they take their lives too seriously. Like, you were more upset than they were, me boys, so you kind of made yourself look stupid there. And what really pisses me off about this is this stupid bitch on the side, man. Like, I just, oh, I, I can't stand her. She's just, her, the way she conducts herself in this video, just so, so fucking annoying, honestly. Like, she's acting all tough, but when it came down to it, you know, when it came time to argue, she couldn't even call the lady a bitch to her face. She just mumbled it as she walked away. Like, how pussy. And, of course, the comment about working at a zoo for minimum wage and being mad, shaming her for her profession. Like, bitch, you're the one that's mad. Oh, and at least she actually is contributing something to society like what the fuck is it that you do exactly you know what contributions to society have you made if you're not familiar with this girl you know honestly take a guess as to what her profession is i'll give you a second all right you got it yeah she literally has the most clowned on profession a woman can have in 2023 She's a OnlyFans girl, and it makes me feel bad for the other girls who are rooted in reality and just trying to chase a bag, because, you know, hoes like this give the rest of y'all a bad rap. But just kind of recapping here, man, it's like, I don't know why people like these IRL streamers. I mean, they're really honestly just corny as fuck, cringy, and we should not be rewarding asshole-like behavior, especially to customer service representatives who don't get paid enough, man. I'm glad that they were at least able to walk away eventually, but that's just something they never should have had to put up with in the first place, man. I don't know, but guys, that's pretty much it for the video. I appreciate y'all watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like rating, subscribe to the channel for more commentaries just like this. Leave a comment down below. I would love to hear what y'all have to say about this. And until next time, guys, this is Runter, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.